Hey guys, what's going on? Just wanted to check in with all of you. This is gonna be my May mid-month check-in. Seeing how you guys are all doing, let you know what's going on so far. I am halfway, a little more than halfway through the carnivore elimination diet, 19 days in now. And I wanted to just share with you guys some of my challenges and some of the things I've experienced so far. I'm really excited for this to actually I'll be over, although I will say I'm kind of proud. I made it kind of far considering that I really like snacking and all the things that I thought I was really gonna um, cave into, I didn't. I There were times where I thought I was gonna slip, but I did pretty good. Um, 19 days in, I haven't had too many cravings. Um, it settled down a lot. Some of the things that I've been kind of keeping an eye on or some of the biomarkers that I've been paying attention to are my energy levels. I've noticed that I haven't crashed a lot in the afternoons where I usually do around two or three o'clock with a lot of the stuff that I used to eat before. Um, in terms of my sleep, I've been okay. There's no issues there. A lot of people talk about their irregular digestion, which I still can't wrap my head around. And some people might have explained it as like explosive, this might be a little bit too much for you guys, but explosive diarrhea. But to be honest, I haven't experienced any of that. The number one thing though I did notice is that I haven't had a lot of bloating. And for somebody like me, or for a lot of you I'm sure out there that eat you know, the sugars, the carbs, can feel very, very bloated, I haven't had any of that with eating strictly just meats, eggs, seafood, and so forth. So I've been feeling pretty good. My energy levels are good. I haven't experienced any mental fog. So I think I'm doing okay so far. However, there is one thing that kind of put a wrench in all of this is I usually try to weigh myself to check in how that's been um, differing from the day to day. And if you have all been following along this past weekend on my Instagram story, I have a knack for doing things that are adventurous. I have a penchant for adrenaline and the outdoors. I love the outdoors. And one thing that if you all know about me is I've gotten into rock climbing in the last two years. Well, since uh, some of the state parks or some of the local parks have reopened again, my friends and I thought, hey, well, maybe we'll go check out a local park. Uh, to go rock climbing, outdoor rock climbing that is. So that means uh, we're doing bouldering, there's no harness involved. Um, we went to Chatsworth, there's a local park there called Stony Point Park and they have some really cool rocks there. It's made out of sandstone, which we've been to before. In any case, there were a couple of us and I thought that I challenged myself a little bit because there were some routes there that I couldn't do or couldn't complete the last go around and we were on Turlock Rock. Uh, there was one particular route that I attempted to do. We had some spotters and I thought, okay, I wanna challenge myself to do this. Well, sure enough, as I attempted the route going up, at the very top where you top out, it was a little precarious. I couldn't find a good area where you can latch onto. So I asked my friend if he could sort of reach out to grab my hand. But unfortunately, because I couldn't find a good hold, I got my foot up, I slipped. The fall was about 15 feet high, um, and I landed straight down on where you would pivot normally when you walk, and I hyperextended my foot. Needless to say, I sustained three fractures, one of which is completely displaced. Um, that very same day, my friends, they were gracious enough to take me to urgent care and I was told that I will need surgery. On top of that, um, where I am now is I ha was told that I needed to get a CT scan, which I'm um, a little anxious about because that CT scan will tell me if there's another underlying issue with something called a Lis Frank. And if that is not ruled out, which means it might be more of a recovery time, and I would need to have plates and screws placed. So fingers crossed, I will keep you guys updated. That's gonna be in the next few days to find out my test results. But if they are able to rule that out, then I'll just have a minor surgery. It's outpatient and the only thing that I would need in that case would be pins. And that'll just be to realign uh, the fracture or the bone so that way it moves back and I can regain my normal gait back and be able to walk normally. And you guys can kind of see the x-ray, how bad 
that it is. If that bone were to crack or fracture in place, then there wouldn't be a problem and I wouldn't need surgery. Um, in my experience in all of this, it's, it's been very frustrating. So I'm in a cast, or in a splint rather, and I have to keep my foot elevated. For somebody like me, I like to move a lot and it's, it's, been, a, it's been a huge challenge. Um, I can definitely empathize with a lot of people, especially now who are going through a lot of difficult times, that it's, you know, it's hard to rely on somebody. At least for me, I don't really like depending on people because I feel like an imposition and it's hard asking for help. Um, this month is actually Mental Health Awareness Month, the month of May, and I feel like mental health is something we very seldom talk about and do far too little than we ought to for. A lot of people are marginalized, there's a stigma behind it, and we just turn away from asking for help. And that's kind of, you know, I had a moment where, you know, it hit me really hard because I, I felt so debilitated and I, can't, I couldn't do anything. Um, and having to rely on people felt like you were such a burden to somebody else. But, no, but knowing that you know, there was such an outpour of thoughts and concerns and support from all of my friends and family, and thank you guys so much. It means an incredible amount to me to know that I have that kind of support there. Um, there's help out there. And it's, it's so comforting to know that I have people in you know, my circle that will be there for me, take me to doctor's appointments, um, you know, send me food or take me to you know, wherever it is I need to go, come over to have a pizza party and keep me company. Thank you guys so much. That means so much to me. Um, but for those of you out there, especially now in these trying times, especially in this kind of um, you know, state that we're in, know that there is help and know that you know, it's okay to reach out and talk to somebody about what's going on in your life. Um, know that you're not alone and um, know that you know, we're all here for each other no matter what our story is, no matter where it is we're going in life and no matter what's going on right now, there is help out there. Ask for it and you will get it. Um, to all my friends and family, I really am so appreciative of you. Um, all of you guys out there, I will keep you updated. I'll see a um, orthopedic surgeon on Thursday. I hope it's good news that I won't need or I didn't have the list frank and I hope they didn't find that in my CT scan. Um, as far as my elimination diet is concerned, I am so, so anxious for this to be all over, but I know that you know if you set your mind to something, you definitely can push through it, um, trying times or whatever's going on right now. I, I hope you guys are all doing well. You know, your mental health and your physical health is so, so important. Stay healthy, stay well, and subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you guys have any questions or wanna know what's going on. I'd be happy to share with you. I'd be happy to talk to you. Send me a message and be kind to one another and I'll catch you guys on the next one.